it's about 6 30 now and i just went to my grocery store real quick just to get dinner but i decided to get a few other things dinner tonight is going to be chicken parmesan and i bought these chicken breasts they're already sliced and they're 5.99 a pound so pricier than what i normally buy chicken but i didn't want to mess with chicken i just feel like it's kind of gross and i just got my nails done so i don't want to ruin my nails i'm not sure if i'm going to cook all the chicken because um it is going to be a lot i might just save one also i have some zucchini and some carrots that i'll be baking and then on top of that i'm going to try out this zatar spice blend which i heard of um the first time i heard of this was when we went to boston during our trip in boston in october i ordered a garden salad bagel with cream cheese it had a unique taste topped off with cucumber and lettuce with sitar spice the sandwich was so fresh and delicious if you would like to check out our trip i'll link the video below so you can see where i purchased the bagel and how it looked like well, we went to target this week and they had this like um it was like one of those ready-made meals you just heat it up in the microwave and it had some kind of mushroom, chicken, and vegetable, so it looked really good. So I'm gonna try to make that with this everything mushroom um, seasoning. I also needed rosemary, and I made this um, Thanksgiving in a pot. That dinner did really need a little more spice. Then the Bertoli spaghetti sauce was on sale. It was $1.49, normally it's $2.49. And I really like this vodka sauce. And then I decided to try this olive oil and garlic sauce for tonight's dinner. And then the kids haven't had their macaroni and cheese in a while, and this is their favorite mac and cheese. And the price has been increasing, or even at one point it was 59 cents, but now it's 89 cents for bowl and basket brand. And in addition, I got mozzarella cheese for tonight's dinner, and to serve with the chicken parmesan, I did get the extra wide egg noodles. Again, I tend to buy like double of everything because I have a bigger family, but I think I am going to just use one of those chicken packages instead of two. And then just to stock up for holiday season, I did order, not I did order, I did buy one more fruit cocktail. This was really the only one that they had and that's why um, you need to stock up when they have it because this goes fairly quickly and their stock is like minimal. This grocery haul did cost me about $66. So not terrible, but at the same time, not cheap. But the spaghetti sauce was a good sale. So that's why I bought eight jars of spaghetti sauce. I'm only gonna cook one package. I think this is plenty of chicken and then we're gonna have the pasta anyway. So um, you can like, if you were to buy the same amount that I have, you can cook two and then freeze one. For spices, I'm going to use the ground sage, rosemary that I just bought from my grocery store, and then salt and pepper, as well as some garlic powder. Start off with some salt, and I have this like little salt shaker that I got a while ago from Dollar Tree. Put some pepper, rosemary. I like ground sage, so I'm gonna add this to the chicken. And then we're gonna add some garlic powder. And I'm just going to mix everything together. I think I have plenty of spices on here. And then um, we're going to let it sit. And when we come back, then this should be ready to start cooking. I'm going to start cutting up the squash, but I'm only going to be using two. I already cut the ends off and I'm just going to slice it thin. I'm cutting it right onto the tray. I don't feel like cleaning a cutting board. Also, I'm going to be mixing this with some carrots. Okay, so that's one. Let me see if I can just cut it faster with the second one. Got to hurry up anyway because we're going to be heading out. We'll be out for about um, maybe an hour and a half. So not too long. Okay gonna put some carrots I already rinsed out these carrots but I might have to cut some of them because some of them are too thick and I want them to cook evenly again I don't want to put too much because my kids don't really like vegetables even though I serve it so most of this is probably what I'll be eating Yeah, these are really 
thick. Okay, I think that's good enough. These little ones can stay intact. So now I'm gonna put a little bit of oil and I'm going to be using that sitar spice. So it smells kind of like oregano or Italian seasoning with a bit of mint. And uh, it's not overly powering. So on the back, it does say dry thyme, oregano, sesame seeds, lemon, powder, sea salt, sunflower oil, lemon flavor. So it smells a little minty though to me, but those are the ingredients in the back. It does smell pretty good and I can see that this will pair up well with these vegetables. It doesn't have salt on here, so I'm gonna put a little bit of salt on top of the, the veggies as well. All right, so here is the sliced chicken breast that I marinated with salt, pepper, ground sage, rosemary, and some garlic. And it's been marinating for over an hour now. And then for the vegetables, I sliced up only two of the zucchini and a handful of carrots, and I sliced that as well. I did put on some of that um, Zatar slice, spice, <laughs> I can't say it, but Zatar spice blend and some salt, and that has been marinating as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and start baking the veggies while I prepare the seasoning, the breadcrumbs, and the egg wash for the chicken breast. I have three eggs for my egg wash. I have salt, pepper, garlic powder, and some sage. And then I have flour with just flour by itself. And then I have my panko breadcrumbs. I have Parmesan cheese, some more ground sage, some Italian herbs, a little bit more of rosemary, pepper, and salt. You can also season the flour, but there was enough seasoning on the chicken and breadcrumbs that I left the flour just plain. Here is the breaded chicken breast. Now I did have to add a third egg. You can probably add even four eggs, but I really tried to stretch it out. And then I added another two cups of the panko bread and parmesan and seasonings so i really had to pack in also the breadcrumbs on the chicken after it was all done because i did a couple times i forgot that the flour goes first and not the egg i have about a half a cup of olive oil in my large saute pan and i have the chicken breast cut pretty thin so this is not going to take long to cook and that one package of chicken is perfect for the family because we are going to serve this with some egg noodles which i have the water boiling right now and um we're also gonna be serving it with vegetables i just tasted the vegetables that i cooked and it tastes just like that sandwich i had in boston so that the tar spice is really really delicious i'm going to buy a stock of it and if you guys haven't tried it go ahead and try it out I will try to find it in Amazon and link it into this video. Next, we're just gonna cut up this big block of mozzarella and this is just like that polio kind of string cheesy one in a block that you'll find in the refrigerator in your uh, grocery store. So we're just gonna slice it and I just need to make enough for my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 pieces of chicken parmesan. Some pieces are larger than others. This might be a little bit too thick, I have to do it thinner. 
kind of hard to cut that it's cold. All right, so let me finish cutting this and then we'll pour our sauce on top and then we're gonna bake our Parmesan. I'm gonna use our olive oil and garlic sauce from Bertoli. And I'm just gonna put a good helping on top of the chicken that we just cooked on the stove. I already have my oven on and it's already preheated so I'm gonna hurry and put the sauce sauce. Alright, this one needs a little bit more. I didn't shred the mozzarella, I like it nice and thick because I want a good helping of cheese when it melts, but what I'll do is I'll just break it up. So um, I was about to make double the amount, but I'm glad I didn't because this is actually um, plenty. So now I have ingredients for another uh, chicken parmesan if I wanted to, and I'll save that on a rainy day. It's breaking off a little bit weird. It's gonna taste just the same. All right, so I'm gonna finish the second tray, and then we're gonna pop this in the oven. All right, so here we are. Dinner is finally served, and it's getting a little bit cold. So I'm gonna have to call everyone to start eating. But I have the vegetables with the za'atar spice. It tastes really, really, really good. Nothing like I've ever tasted, so I highly recommend that. And I'm going to be using it for a sandwich as well. Then we have our chicken parmesan, and this was just one package of thinly sliced chicken breast. And I do like the olive oil and garlic spaghetti sauce from Bertoli. I think that pairs up well with the chicken parmesan. And I ended up using the whole jar of sauce between these two containers. So I don't have a larger container that I can put these in right now. This is just what I had that was easy to grab. And so yeah, that's uh, 11 slices of chicken parmesan along with this large container of egg noodles. Now I know this is a lot, so if you guys just wanna use one bag, you can. All right, so we're gonna serve my husband first since he is hungry right now and it's pretty late in the night as always. My dinners when I cook for YouTube does take a while. So I'm going to serve him some vegetables. We're going to grab some pasta. I'm going to grab this one. <laughs> Give him a little more pasta. The main component of our dish tonight. I'm going to give him this nice helping of chicken parmesan. And that, mm, that's going to go right on top of the pasta. I have not cooked chicken parmesan, really. <laughs> I think I've cooked it once in my life and mm. I just put way too much sauce. This one looks more of a, an authentic, I guess, to me. Um, <laughs> chicken parmesan. Hmm. What say you? For Good. real. <laughs> Good. You like it? Mm -hmm. The vegetables too. I can't believe he's eating that. He loves carrots. It's that zatar spice, kind of like from Boston. It's really good. Okay, all right, so it's time for dinner. I'm calling everybody to eat, and then we have to head to bed. All right, guys, so that is our dinner for today. The only thing that my kids and my husband said is that I should add a little bit more spaghetti sauce so they can eat it with the pasta. Other than that, they think it's really delicious. And um, yeah, I'm gonna cook this again. I'm just gonna try to figure out an easier way to cook it. Uh, maybe I just fried the parmesan a little bit, or parmesan or the chicken too long. So I think that's why it felt like it was like a laborious meal. Anyway, that is our dinner. Thanks for watching my shop and cook with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.